It would probably be difficult to find a sporting venue in Saskatoon that's located farther away from the University of Saskatchewan than the Diamonds in the southwest part of the city. While this team may not play on campus and might not even be known as the Huskies, the players on the Lady Saxons feel like just as big a part of U of S athletics as any other athlete. We're very involved with the university that we're all students and that all of us have to be taking at least three courses. So that much we're very much university students when it comes to that. It's a pretty big commitment for the first five, six weeks of the year. And so uh, these girls, we actually try out before school even starts. But um, I mean, once we do get started, we practice a few times a week and we're gone pretty much every weekend or we're playing here in the city. The team plays in the Western Collegiate Softball Association, primarily against teams from Alberta, plus one from Regina. But players and officials hope that one day they'll become members of the CIS. Absolutely, I think it should be a goal. Um, with the caliber of girls that we have coming out now, I don't see why it shouldn't be. Maybe not in my generation, but I would like to see it like my kids. I'd like to be able to see them do that. The U of S team joined the Young League in 2008 and is still working hard to let people know that, well, they exist. Yeah, it's funny. I was at uh, out with some friends last night and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I got three softball games tomorrow. The university has a softball team, really? It's like, yeah, I know I've had a team for a while. So people are starting to recognize us too and starting, like, we're putting our name out there. So the ball community is well aware of, you know, the sport and the, the university team and Saskatoon has a great volunteer uh, base, especially for softball. We hold large events here and we get to play at these beautiful facilities. Um, but uh, other than, you know, the softball community, yeah, it's a little bit tougher to get the message out there. What the team may lack in an on-campus profile, they've more than made up for with on-field success. They won nationals in 2008 and 2010, and last season took home a silver medal along with the league title. They'll be looking to defend that championship October 5th and 6th when they host the Western Championships in Saskatoon. We're hoping that we'll peak by then so that our, we'll be playing our best. Hopefully we'll have a good fan base come out and support us home because it's in Saskatoon. So that's what we're looking for. At Gordie Howe Park, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.